This is a 1988 Casablanca Spirit of Saturn ceiling fan in the very rare Alchemist in Snow White color. This, as you may think, is not as rare as the pink and green one, but it's actually the same because three of those have been found and three of these have been found. And out of the three of the green and white ones, two of them I got, but I traded one of them to Jack Connor. And I kept this one to myself. The other person who has one is John Pernock. And his has the upward facing brackets that are in green. But I actually have a set of them in white, which are here. I got them from my local lighting center. Because these brackets are so cool. And I plan, them, I plan to put them on my cascade. Because I, I think they all look pretty cool with, with the plastic blades that they came with. Some of them did, but mine has them, which is very cool. But this fan got damaged in shipping. Jack Connors got damaged more in shipping. But this one is in slightly, slightly but better shape. The paint damage, there's some paint damage on mine. There's also some paint damage on his. But there's not really paint damage. Um, Jack's has a slightly bigger crack on the glass. Mine has it too, but it's slightly smaller. And... His switch housing is bent. Um, mine is not. Kind of a bit, but not really. It can still work. And my flywheel is super, super, super warped. But his is, his flywheel is very good. And this one has a, a replaced W32 board. And the new flywheel, but the flywheel got, got warped in shipping. So I've got to get the new flywheel for this fan again. But Jax has the W11 board and and the 5 from 1988, and it's still working great. So, it's on my W32 because this fan would not work on W11 since it's a later W32 board, and we will start this fan on demo mode. There's a light. It has two inter intermediate base bulbs in there. It's not very bright. As you can see, the flywheel is super, super warped. It's all, it already wobbles a lot on medium speed, which is 3.3 right now. Came with a 2 4 down rod. Blades on, on my island fan are moving. As you can see, it wobbles a lot. I don't want it to go to high speed. Ah! Okay, there's the mode, which is scary. This is the first video of this fan because the file isn't isn't replaced yet. This is a demo of how I got it. So in a few months, there will be another video of it fixed. And that video, I will show speed 5 and 6. For this video, it's only go to 1 to 4. Because 5 and 6 are too scary. But you kind of saw it in demo mode, so there you go. Here's light. Demo setting. It looks very cool. So there's the brightest setting. It's pretty bright. Um, I wouldn't say it's actually a usable light, but it's a great accent light. And off and speed one. Turned off again so we can start again. There we go. There's speed one. There's my cat. This is the seventh Saturn I have. I used to have six, but I sold all of them. 
and this is the only one I've left and I'm never selling the, this one for obvious reasons unless I find a new inbox one which is impossible almost impossible speed 2 there are some light bulbs on the floor so that's the sound Speed three. It's a great speed for four Casablancas. And it's already wild going in speed four. This is the last speed for this fan. Since it's it is already wild going and it's already moving a lot of air. And off. We're gonna watch this fan spin down halfway. And these are the original light bulbs, and the island fans has gone in the way again. Probably going to get a uh, Probably going to take down this island fan since filming in my in this location, which is only for Intel Touch fans, is kind of hard with the blaze always going in the middle like this. So it's a very good fan and very rare. And I know some people are very jealous about it. This was from California. I got them both for $120. At first, it was going to be 200 but they got damaged in shipping. So the, the seller refunded me a lot of money. So I got them for a great price. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!